Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it?
You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Does Mrs. Shepherd ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepherd? No. There's nothing, really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer.
last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this vial. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the vial or decide to leave. The choice is yours. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Save Sean and die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. One hour to live. Just enough time to save Sean. The cameras. He must be watching me. There's no choice. I've got to do it. If I want to save my son. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Fucking address! Come on! There's gotta be a way to do this! Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. 
The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data, I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. The watch they give for promotions to Lieutenant. The killer is a cop. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out, if not a cop? Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. A cop. There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha! He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. the right car at the docks call the SWAT team oh and I'll need a chopper today of course I'll need it today you fucking imbecile let me stay with you Scott I don't want to go 
Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days, and I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise.
lost your touch, girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with rain, slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Shit, it needs a password. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Wet clothes will give me a better chance of surviving.
myself if I jump. I've got to find something else. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy, Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. My name is Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. You got all that? Wait, I know of this already. I'm on my way to the warehouse. I gotta go. 